Hi everybody from TechLons and welcome to the dedicated focus on the performances for what concern the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. So we'll see tonight a few benchmark running on this device. We have Quadrant Antutu, Epic Signal and Speedtest.net. So let's start with Quadrant Advanced and while the benchmark is running just let me remind you a few hardware specs of this device. We have the CPU which is the Snapdragon 800, it's a quad core CPU clock at 2.3 GHz with a production service of 28 nanometers. Then we have the RAM which is 3 GB of LPDDR3 and we have the GPU which is the Adreno 330 clock at 450 uh, megahertz. Then we have this gorgeous display, it's a 10.1 inches diagonal display with a resolution of 2560 for 160. So we have really a, a huge, huge display. Look at this. The score of this device is 22,238. It's extremely high. If you do consider the Galaxy Note 3, for instance, score more or less 23,000. So uh, despite the huge screen resolution, we have almost the same result of the Galaxy Note 3. So now let's start on to do. I've already run this benchmark so let's run it again together and let's see what the scores is like. So the score of the device is 35,508, so it's extremely high, even higher than the Galaxy Note 3 and this is incredible considering the uh, huge screen resolution of this device. So another benchmark that we're going to see is Epic Serial. This benchmark class really deals with the uh, C GPU power of the device. So we will see how does this uh, Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition does behave with this Epic Citadel. We will, uh, here we go, we will, I will show you in a few seconds that I've already set up the graphical details of this benchmark to the highest possible level because we really want to, you know, make, <laughs> we really want to make this 10.1 Galaxy Note Temple 1 swipe. We have ultra high quality and we have rendering resolution percentage up to 100%. So let's get back and now we can finally start the benchmark. Okay, and let's see what we have here. So um, I guess this benchmark does really make use of the, um, the graphical power of the device it's using it so as you can see this Galaxy Note 10.1 it's you know a little bit slowed down by the uh, very high screen resolution uh, 2560 for 16 is a you know 1600 is a really high resolution and indeed we can see the uh, average frame rate while the benchmark is running which is around 30 even in some you know some spot even uh, 20 or a little below 20 frames per second consider the galaxy note 3 was almost constantly on the 60 frames per second on average definitely the resolution going from the full hd resolution to this 2564 600 resolution is extremely high i mean the galaxy note tempo 1 and the galaxy note 3 the Temple One, of course, 2014 edition has have exactly the same hardware inside, so definitely the screen resolution does matter. And we will see in a few seconds the average frame rate of this device, which I'm expecting to be quite lower in in respect of the Galaxy Note 3. Even you know, considering the average frame rate that is going on while the benchmark is running. We will see in a few seconds the score of this device. Here we go. 33.6 uh, 
you know, here we go, the resolution 2560 for 1600. It's very, very high resolution and at ultra high quality, I mean, maybe it's a little bit too much for this device. Well, definitely it's not too much, considering that we have an average frame rate, which is anyway above 30 frames per second, which is considered the optimus, uh, the optimal, you know, uh, average frame rate. So nevertheless, this Tempo One can cope with the very high resolution, the ultra high quality. So the last benchmark for today is the speedtest.net, which is definitely a benchmark dealing with the speed of the LTE connectivity. This device, this version of the Tempo One uh, 2014 Galaxy Note is the LTE capable device. Of course, being the key LTE capable device, we have the 800, the Snapdragon 800, as I've already told you. So let's start the benchmark and let's choose the server of the same car I'm using to perform this test. Um, <clears throat> I mean, these kind of tests do heavily depend on the, you know, um, how busy the network is right now. So I'm not expecting any miracle here, considering that usually I get very high result, very late at night, like around 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Now we have, you know, past midnight mm, since 25 minutes. So mm, as you can see, we don't have that high speed of, you know, network connectivity. Nevertheless, we are downloading and. 53.43 megabit per second which is extremely high anyway it's maybe more than 10 times my home <laughs> home connection we can upload this is very interesting up to 14.15 let's start the test again and we will run three run in total just to be sure that you have to see what the average frame the average download speed is we are around once more 57 maybe we can reach 60 but uh, you know it's a little bit too early to have the uh, network completely clean with no one using it if we go the upload speed is 14 which is not bad last run let's see what we can achieve here the ping is between 40 and 50 millisecond and here we go 49 well 48 well definitely this is not the best high the best score that i could recall on a lt capable device i'm pretty sure that these devices can even download uh, more considering how fast was the galaxy note 3 which reached uh, 85 megabit per second download speed i'm pretty sure that in another moment this device can even score a better result Anyway, the best score for today was 63.01 megabit per second in download speed and, you know, almost 15 megabit per second in upload speed. So, for what concerns this uh, benchmark, this uh, fo benchmark uh, focus that's on the Galaxy Note Tempo 1 2014 edition, that's all. Once more, thanks for watching and bye from Technost.